What's going on guys? Uh, most of you will probably not recognise me. Uh, I am the cameraman for 100% Chelsea. I am doing uh, some work for 100% Chelsea while Louis is away. Uh, and so I will be the one doing your opposition preview tonight. Uh, spoke to Matt about it obviously and he uh, wanted me to do a video for you guys. Uh, talking about Wolves, talking a bit about their form, talking about where, also oh, talking about Chelsea I should say. Talking about Chelsea, their sort of their form, where they're going to hurt Wolves, uh, their weaknesses where Wolves can exploit us, and just my overall thoughts on the game, how our lineups going to look, etc. Um, in terms of Chelsea recently, I think our form has been improving. Uh, I think that we have, we've looked a lot better. Ever since, I think, the Malmo away game, we've sort of taken a turn. The whole team looks a lot different. You look at some of the players like Jorginho, you look at uh, Alonso, Emerson, um, even Dave to a, a lesser extent, Aspilicueta. We, we look improved. We look more like a team. We look more like we were in the first nine games of the season. And I think that we we look like we're understanding Sorry's system. We look like we're a coherent unit now. Uh, obviously, the, the second half against Fulham was uh, poor. Personally, for me, it was, it was dreadful. And I think we were lucky in the end to come out with three points. Um, yeah, I, I think we, we've, been, we've been playing decent. I think we're just coming off the back uh, of a Kiev game where we... Honestly, it was like a pre-season game. We, we were dominant. I think they, they didn't really offer anything. They got in our third a few times, but that's about it. But yeah, apart from that, I think we're, we're coming into this game against Wolves with with a lot of confidence, a lot of uh, morale is high, I think. And so I'm, I, I think Chelsea can get something in this game. I, I definitely do. I think that we, unlike the last game where it was away, playing away at any ground, uh, is difficult, I think. Uh, and certainly it's the Wolves side, the high pressure, you know, catching teams we've already seen. Uh, they've taken points off uh, uh, City, off of Arsenal, uh, with not Liverpool out of the cup, uh, off of, uh, taking points off United. And so I think they are a top, they are a top team. You can see they're, sixth, they're sorry, seventh in the table, their first season back in the Premier League. Nuno's gotten playing brilliant football. The way they run with uh, Jorge Mendes, uh, helping with the transfers is perfect. And so, But I think, I think we can get something. In terms of our strengths, I think it's kind of obvious. I think Eden Hazard is by far and away... I'm not going to say he's the best player in the league because for me personally he isn't. I'm going to say that uh, as a Chelsea fan. I think he's up there, definitely. I think it's just his inconsistency uh, sometimes just gets, gets in the way. Um, but he's, he's certainly the best player, I think, by a mile in terms of an attacking sense. I think that he offers so much, particularly, uh, no offence for all you, uh, you Wolves fans watching this, but for uh, right against Ryan Bennett in the weekend, who for me is lucky to be in this game after uh, the Cardiff game. He's lucky not to be sent off. And no offence to Cardiff or any of their players, but they're average at best. You look at some of their players, um, and I think that he was getting run ragged sometimes by the likes of his namesake, Joe, uh, and by, uh, I think it was Mendes Lang or Hoyler on that left-hand side. And see, so, yeah, I think that's someone we can exploit. I also think that I also think that uh, we can get something through Kante. I think Kante in that midfield is going to be very good. I think with the way you've been playing, uh, with three in the midfield, it... It's something different because I think when you played us uh, before in the away game, uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to get to that because of issues. Uh, when we played you uh, at Wolves, it was I think you you were sticking the system where at the start of the season you were three four three and now you've changed it to a three five two, and I think that it it will help us. I think having Kante will help because you look at the midfield you've got you've got Neves and Lutinio and Dendonco willing to run, willing to do the hard work in the team. I think having Kante is going to help counteract that I think it's going to be perfect I think you, you, it's almost a match in terms of him versus Dendonka of that that player or even him versus Neves of that player that's going to be the one getting up and down and I think Kante is going to win that battle for me uh, personally um, unfortunately past that I can't really see too much in terms of our strengths our defence has been better it's been a lot better I think it, as against Fulham we saw um, it's, it's shaky still and I think particularly against the Wolves I think Jimenez is in form Potter's definitely in form Triore, if, if Alonso ends up playing, I don't think he will. If Alonso's playing and Triore's playing for you, oh, that worries me. Sirius is a Chelsea fan. Um, but yeah, I think that playing against Jimenez will be interesting. because this, this is the thing that's, that's kind of interesting about Jimenez. He doesn't strike me as the type of player. If you look at him, who's a tall athletic, who looks like he's going to be any good with the ball at his feet or anything. But he actually he is. It's, really, it's a deceiving sight. But I, I think I think that he's someone that we should be watching out for, and I think that defensively it's it's a bit of a worry. 
I also think that if you were able to put pressure on Jorginho, that can be a worry. I think that he's improved like leaps and bounds over the past few weeks, certainly to what he was when he was, you know, playing poorly against the likes of Spurs, even when we were coming up against some other teams like Arsenal and Bournemouth, etc. When he was playing really, really badly, it's turned a corner. He's turned a corner. I think he's improving a lot more. Obviously, he understands the system. It's the system he's played with for a number of uh, number of years, but just his general play as a player uh, is improving a lot. But I think if you're able to put pressure on him, if, as I said, Moutinho, then Donka, Neves are able to put pressure on him, then that's uh, that's gonna, we're going to struggle. But apart from that, I can't see too much where, as I said, where we're going to exploit you or where you're going to exploit us. It's just, it's going to be interesting. I, I think that for, for me, it all depends on what players you play. Like, for example, if we play Hudson and Doyle and Loftus Cheek, I feel like we, we've got a lot better chance because even though uh, Hudson Doyle, for example, we're coming up against. For me, you someone you could say is almost a a underrated player in, in that wall side, Willie Bolly. He, I think, he he will have the ability to get around him uh, and certainly cause uh, uh, Bolly some problems. And I same, think same with Hudson, uh, sorry, Loftus Cheek in that midfield. If he's coming up against the likes of Dendonka and Neves, as I said, that or even Moutinho, as I said, with Moutinho getting slightly older and the legs slightly going on him, as we've seen with other players, for example, Fabregas. Uh, for example, Pedro and William on our Chelsea side, which we've seen a lot of uh, this season. I think it, it, him making those driving run, runs, I should say, if he that he likes to make, that he likes to make, it it can end up pushing us up as a team, and it will put you on the back foot. And I don't think that's something you necessarily want to do. I haven't watched too much of Wolves, unfortunately, this season. I, from what I have seen, I, I love watching Wolves play. Um, for me, they're after Chelsea. If, if I wasn't a Chelsea fan, in terms of like I just love watching football Wolves are the next best team for me that I, I like watching in the Premier League um, but yeah I, that's that's somewhere I think that if we play Loftus Cheek it can help us but as I said apart from that there's not too much else I can I can see in terms of each team where they're going to exploit I think you've done very well with a system that I I don't know how do I put this in, in a system which for the Premier League at least I feel like Chelsea in two seasons ago brought that in we were the first ones really to play three at the back consistently and do it well and as far as I can remember I could be wrong uh, but yeah and I, I think that teams like Wolves and, except, and Spurs etc are now reaping the benefits of that and I think it's a system that's working very well for you um, but yeah apart from that I think the only other thing for, uh, for me is for the uh, the lineup uh, predictions uh, I think Kepa's going to start and go. I think there's there's no reason why he shouldn't. I think he's going to start in every game for the rest of the season, bar maybe the odd Europa League game. I think all that's done and dusted. There's there's no more problems as far as we know. I think that Aspen Akreta and Emerson will be starting fullbacks. I think they both got a rest against uh, Kiev, which was nice to see, particularly for Dave. He's been shattered recently. He's been having so many problems. Um, and Emerson will be nice to see. He's a bit better defensively. It'll be better if we're play coming up against, as I said, Triorate, or even if we're coming up against Cavaliero, or... Uh, if Hotter comes on the other side or Costa plays, um, I think the two sides are be as they are normally. Uh, Rudiger and Louise, I think Rudiger's had a couple of games rest in certain places. I think that's, that's how it's going to stay. Uh, in terms of midfield, as I said, Jorginho and Kante are definite. They all they're always playing for me. They're the best two in the positions they're in um, that we have. And I think Loftus Cheek, I think he's going to play. I'm going to go with my, my head in what I think he's, uh, Sarri is going to play with this. And I think Loftus Cheek will play. I don't necessarily see him seeing that whole match. Uh, in fact, that if he starts, I don't see him actually finishing the whole match. I think Barkley will probably come on later in the game. But I see him starting. Ha as I said, similar to Jorginho and Kante, I think Hazard and Higuain will definitely start. I think that Higuain's been a bit of an interesting one for me. I know a lot of people haven't rated him. I know that Louis said before on this channel that he hasn't rated him. But I, I like him. I think that... More than anything, he just offers something more up front. He he moves a lot more than we're used to. He, he He's making those runs. He's making the movement. He's linking up play a lot better than we're used to seeing in previous seasons, or at least in the past couple of seasons. And I think that... I don't know whether he can get something against um, uh, against you guys, against Wolves, but it'd be, it'd be nice to see how he plays against that three-back. Uh, and I think the right wing... My heart wants to say Hudson Odoi. I then want to say Pedro... Annoyingly, I'm going to have to go to William only because he, he was out of Pedro and William. He was out of Pedro himself, I should say. He was the one that came off for Hudson Odoi. Therefore, he played less minutes. Therefore, I think he'll start. It's annoying because I think Willie Bolly will have him in his back pocket, if I'm being honest. I don't see William doing a lot. But we'll have to wait and see. 
as for the score prediction, I think it's going to be two on Chelsea. I think the, I definitely think, I think Wolves will uh, score first, um, but then I feel like we've got enough quality as we showed against Fulham, just about as we showed against Kiev, as we've shown against Tottenham, uh, showing against other teams. We'll have the quality to get through it, and yeah, I think it'll be two on Chelsea. But um, yeah, as I said, that, uh, I want to say thank you to Matt for letting him come on uh, the channel. Um, if uh, you want to, uh, please subscribe to 100% Chelsea. Uh, we're getting quite close to 90,000 uh, 90, subscribers, so any other support would be much appreciated. Obviously, I understand it's a Chelsea channel, but we do sort of touch on other points here and there, and we do try and be complimentary about some other teams. It all depends on your, if you're Arsenal or Spurs, or even, I know even West Ham to a point you can sod off, but for the most part we do talk about other teams here and there. But yeah, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe and click the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you get all your daily notifications. Uh, also as well, if you do come onto the channel, all in the description one, there'll be uh, a link to social medias and everything, to, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, 